Welcome to This is the coolest use of AI I have yet to see. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, if you are a subscriber to the channel, you would have seen a video called something with regex. Now we have two problems. Um, if you're not a subscriber, uh, hit the bell and all that good stuff. That really helps me. And uh, I promise you there will be more rainbows and unicorns and all sorts of stuff in your life if you're a subscriber. At least there'll be more videos um, about Business Central. But actually, I was about to record a Business Central video and then I stumbled over something that I think this is so cool that I, I really want to show you guys. Um, the idea is simple. Somebody, had, well, maybe, maybe it's not simple because I have a hard time actually explaining this. But somebody has taken gpt3 which is a language prediction model trained on the biggest set of uh, i think 175 billion things uh, and and is able to produce text and you can you can almost have a conversation with it uh, which is really remarkable uh, but somebody has taken this and said maybe i could get gpt3 to create regex for me and it, it kind of looks that way so so wait okay, enough talk uh, let me actually show you this because it, uh, it's still um so the idea is that you put in english uh uh, add at least uh, eight uh, char characters and numbers. Go. And then we get the regex for that. The one I had before was just... Um, how about I do a uh, US zip code? That's very really simple. If you hit it more, and then you can actually get more. So US does an optional adding four digits after the five. So you have these, I don't know, sub zip codes. Um, you could do uh, uh, an, an address. Perhaps with two Ds. Uh, and if we go again, we'll probably get different things. So now we got something with letters and then some numbers afterward. Um, uh, let's, you see that the one day, the minimum eight characters, at least one letter and one uh, number. That's, that's a cool example also. Um, how about a, uh, a US phone number. And, and and what we can do now, so we got one here, and then let's actually put it into, I have a little test here of stuff. So let's put in a, a number 555-123-4567, something like that. And we can try to put this thing in here and see if we get we need three digits um let me see where my keys are so what is this thing they put at the end So not quite, eh? It was, it was. There are some more stuff surrounding it. Maybe let's see if there's another one. That's kind of the one we end up using here. And, and now, now see, this is where the, the model gets interesting because apparently, it, it sometimes you're gonna reply in in English also. Uh, let's let's try a uh, a Canadian. 
let's do zip code. Um, see what that gives us. So that gives us this. So if I go in here and and I actually put in a zip code up here earlier uh, when I was playing. So that was good. Um, a Canadian zip code followed by but by a phone number. Ah, uh, wow. Maybe I don't know. That looks looks like we have something that is phone number ish, but then something else happened. So you you can you can, and I think this is the 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 confidence uh, in the in the reply. Um, what about a good password? Or maybe let's do a a secure password. And then we get something should be at least eight characters long. <laughs> so so th th the model is still kind of uh, I don't know if the, the, I, I created something here that might look like a password. Um, and now it found everything. So that's probably not very helpful. Uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, I, I just thought this, this was a very cool idea. Um, and, um, uh, a, a, an amount, what happens if we do an amount? Now it's just loading. So this is this is still weird. Anyway, uh, this is not zero. <laughs> Probably useless. So maybe not as cool as I kind of hinted at the uh, at the beginning. But the the address for this thing is auto reg x star x y z. Uh, and uh, I don't know how long it stays up because uh, running stuff on GPT-3 costs a lot of money and uh, you know there's lack of, of banners or anything here. So uh, maybe if it's still up when, uh, when this video is, is published, uh, give it a try and let me know in the comments below if this one will actually give you anything useful or it was just a waste of time. But this one, that's not a waste of time. This one is a good one, selected especially for you by the almighty YouTube algorithm. Go check that out. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.